The Australian Administered Detention Centre was ordered closure following a Supreme Court decision in 2016. In the months leading up to October 31st, which was the date set to shut the detention centre, there were a number of meetings between PNG and Australian authorities on ways forward after the closure. However, in an interview with Minister Responsible Petrus Thomas, it was revealed that Australia is yet to discuss the revised resettlement deal with PNG authorities. What we have we've said, we've concluded our part and uh, we've uh, accomplished the purpose of it now. Now, it's the, the, the next review is going to contribute uh, how to resettle the, uh, uh, the ravages that have been identified. And most importantly, we'll be working on a time frame, on a time frame on when they should uh, 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 resettle the, uh, the ravages and ravages. A team of government officials, including Chief Immigration Officer Solomon Kanta, are in Manus to ensure the transferal is conducted within the court order. Meanwhile, hundreds of refugees are refusing to move to the new site because of safety reasons. They are still at the Manus Detention Center in Lombrum, despite electricity and water supply being cut. And in Port Mosby, the lawyer representing the asylum seekers has filed an application to delay the transferal of the refugees. The matter will be heard once the Chief Justice appoints a single court judge to hear this case. The application was filed on grounds that the safety of the refugees must be guaranteed at the East Lorengau Transit Center and the transfer is done without bridging human rights laws. Tekla Gunga, National, MTV News. Thank you.